Heavenly Father. Today, I submit this marriage to you. Father, I pray that you walk with us, guide us, help us to always love each other the way that you have loved us. I thank you for guiding and connecting our lives. Help us to use our relationship as a beacon to let your kingdom shine to all who need us. In your precious name, amen, amen, amen. I'm known as the emotional friend. I'm gonna try to keep it, keep it together. Brenna and I actually met in college. She has quickly become one of my best friends. She's the most selfless woman that I've ever met. Most maid of honor speeches talk about life before the groom. I've never known Brenna without Sam, <laughs> um, but I can't imagine it any other way. Brenna, you already know I look at you as family. I'm glad someone enjoys watching Lord of the Rings and Star Wars as much as I do, finally. <laughs> I appreciate the advice and support you have given me over the years, and most importantly, the Chick-fil-A visits. I'm so happy I found not only a friend that's there for me, but also someone that makes my brother so happy. Sam, you are one of the leading role models in my life. I admire the way you carry yourself, and how you treat the people around you. You have been there for me when life became too much to handle. I know the kind of man you are, and that you would take care of your family no matter the challenge set against you. Having a big brother that supports me and pushes me has been a true blessing. Brenna Sue, it's often said, but I can't thank God enough for putting the compassionate yet willful soul of yours with my own. You knew all along that I would need a partner who is as selfless as they come, but can still whip me into shape when I need the push. I can never say it enough, but thanks for choosing me. Samuel Hewitt, you are my very best friend, my favorite part of every day, my steady, my guide, and the only person I can ever imagine growing white-haired and wrinkled with. Before I ever met you, I would pray for you and imagine the man my future husband would be. You are everything I ever prayed for and dreamed of. I can promise you I will always strive to be the husband that puts his wife before him. And as we travel through the seasons ahead, we will always keep Christ as our core. I promise to always center our relationship on Christ. I promise to laugh at all your silly jokes and always make the best sweets for snacks. My hope, dream, and prayer has always been that we can grow and navigate the terrain. And as a unified pair, we are walking towards the brightest of horizons. I promise to prioritize, cherish, and defend this love for my whole life. Here is to forever, babe. The best is yet to be. The memories of today will be cherished for our lifetime, and I know that in eternity to follow, we have created countless more. Today you stand before your family and friends and you make a commitment to one another, a commitment that is noticed and recorded in heaven by God himself. By the authority conferred upon me by the state of Indiana and the Church of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Sam, you may kiss your bride. The love and joy you guys bring together is something I aspire to reach in my future. I wish you guys nothing but the best as you begin this journey. You two are truly an amazing couple and I'm beyond grateful to call you my family. Congratulations for a great day and looking forward to many great memories ahead. Love you guys.